Hi everybody, very welcome to Mentor and yet another video podcast. As always, I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. Today on the video, guys, I'm going to be talking about the terrain escape maneuver. I'm going to tell you what pilots do in case they're about to hit terrain. I'm going to show you some really exciting footage from inside of the simulator where me and a colleague of mine just narrowly avoid a mountaintop. I'm also going to tell you about the different warning systems and why pilots might find themselves in this situation to start with. So stay tuned. This video is brought to you in cooperation with our long-term sponsor Skillshare. Now Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of high quality courses and pretty much anything that you can imagine. The five on the first of you, who uses this link here below, will get two months of free premium membership on Skillshare. So check it out. Okay, we'll see three, 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 Right guys, so controlled flight into terrain accident. This is what this episode will be about. Um, controlled flight into terrain accidents is when a fully functioning aircraft um, flown by fully qualified aircrew find themselves hitting terrain for whatever reason. Now, during the 1960s, there was a string of accidents where several hundred people perished. Um, and the authorities, when they were investigating the accident, couldn't figure out why the pilots had not just avoided the terrain. Why had they ended up in the situation they ended up in? And what they came up with was that for whatever reason, the pilots had lost their situation awareness. They didn't know where they were or they were missing some crucial information. And they thought that a kind of warning system that would indicate to the aircrew that they were close to terrain would probably have avoided these accidents. And if there was an associated procedure with it that crew had to do whenever they got these type of warnings, that would have helped a lot. So they started looking into this and a, um, a Canadian-born engineer called Donald Bateman came up with a system called GPWS, Ground Proximity Warning System. Now this is a system that is based on the uh, radio altimeter on board the aircraft and it basically feels how close the aircraft is to terrain and also what kind of closure rate it has to terrain. And based on those, um, on those signals, it will issue warnings to the flight crew telling, you know, you have terrain coming up. And that will then tell the crew to execute a terrain escape maneuver. Now, when this was implemented, and it was mandated both first by the FAA and then later by ICAO uh, on transport category aircraft, when that happened, the, um, the, the safety, overall safety of the uh, airline industry increased a lot. In fact, the Americans did a survey um, from back in 1974 up to 2006. And while before the survey, or before the system was implemented, there was about three and a half um, control flight into terrain accidents per year in US airspace, after it was implemented, there was none. So it showed a dramatic increase in safety. But these kind of accidents continued to happen. And they started to realize that even though this system was good, it still had its limitations, as in the uh, uh, radio altimeter could only measure what was happening just below the aircraft. But given the nature of terrain, you might be, you know, over flat terrain, but it might be a mountain coming up ahead of you. So they needed to increase this system in some way. They needed to improve it. And what came after that, what was called EGPWS, Enhanced Ground Proximity Warning System. And what that is, is a GPS-based uh, global map of all the terrain all over the globe. So with that, the aircraft not only knows that it's closing in terrain, but it also knows what's going to happen in a few seconds, you know, what's happening around you. And it also gives a pictorial view on our navigation display of where the terrain is. So when we're flying along, if we look at our navigation display, uh, terrain that is from 500 feet below the aircraft and downwards to about 2,000 feet below, will come up as little green dots. We'll show that there is terrain there, but generally not a problem. Terrain that is between 500 feet up to 2,000 feet above our current altitude will show up as uh, amber dots. And any terrain that is more than 2,000 feet above our current altitude will show up as red dots. 
right? So if we're flying along and we have the Alps, for example, to our, um, to our north, then we might be flying at, let's say, 10,000 feet and we can see red dots on our negation display. But since we're not flying in that direction, not a problem. If we were starting to fly towards that terrain, well then the EGPWS system is starting to work, all right? And it's starting to calculate how far away we are from this terrain. And when we are between 40 and 60 seconds away from a potential collision, it will call terrain, terrain. That's an oral warning. When that happens, on our navigation display, we will see that the area will turn solid amber. Right? That's the first warning. When it feels that it is between 20 and 40 seconds away from um, terrain impact, it will call terrain, terrain, pull up, pull up instead. And the area will turn solid red. Now, whenever we hear pull up as an oral warning from the aircraft, that is called a hard GPWS warning. We have to execute the, the terrain escape maneuver. Okay, I will show you how that works and I will tell you how it works in a second. But there are other uh, warnings as well. So the EGPWS system works together with the wind shear warning system. Uh, it works together with monitoring our glide slope performance. So if we drop below the glide slope on approach, it will issue glide slope, glide slope. It feels if we have an excessive descent rate. So it will call it sink rate, sink rate. Uh, and also, if we are departing from an airport and we're starting to lose altitude with a high thrust setting, it's going to give you a don't sink warning. Okay? These warnings, they're called soft um, GPWS warnings. And when you get a soft warning, the pilot flying has the, um, has the option to just change the flight path. So if you get a sink rate warning, we can just pitch up a little bit, decrease the sink rate, and that's all we need to do. But any time that we get a hard GPWS warning, we execute the uh, terrain escape maneuver and we do it immediately. Okay? It doesn't matter if we think it's erroneous. In fact, we have to assume that it is correct. The reason that we have to assume it's correct is because we might not know where we are. We might have made a mistake and our brains think that we are in one place where we actually is in another place. So, Control flight into terrain accidents that have happened with the GPWS system working uh, has happened because of that. Because the pilots just assumed that these were erroneous warnings because they had lost the situation awareness because of faulty nav aid or because they had executed something in the, uh, uh, in the FMC which had turned the aircraft on a completely different route and they haven't noticed it. So, when we hear that hard warning, terrain, terrain, pull up, the pilot flying will do the following items by memory immediately. You have to disconnect the autopilot, disconnect the auto throttle, aggressively apply max thrust, that's all the way, firewall the engines, pitch up and simultaneously roll wings level to 20 degrees pitch up, lower the speed brake. Those things have to be done immediately. Pilot monitoring have to verify that all of these actions are being made. Then check on the uh, radio altimeter and on the navigation display and call out any tendencies towards terrain, as in climbing or descending, all the way until we're clear of terrain. Now, the pilot flying have done this initially, so now we're sitting at 20 degrees pitch up, but that might not be enough. If we're flying towards a huge mountain range, for example, this might not work. So we can then continue to pitch up to intermittent stick shaker or pitch limit indicators. Now, if you want to know how the pitch limit indicators look and how a terrain, sorry, how a stall escape maneuver looks, then I did a video about that a few weeks ago. It's a really good video to demonstrate how to uh, deal with a stall. But in this case, we have to sit with intermittent stick shaker. So you pitch up until you get stick shaker and then you pitch down a little bit, and then you keep doing that until you're clear of terrain. Because remember, escaping the terrain is absolutely crucial now. Now, when it comes to all other configuration changes, we leave it alone. And the reason for that is, for example, the flaps. If the flaps are set, if we would sim suddenly you know, bring the flaps up, well, then we might lose crucial lift, and we might stall the aircraft. The aircraft will not climb, and it might impact terrain. The gear, if that was out, we leave it out because 
the gear might actually take up quite a lot of the loads if we do impact terrain. So we only start retracting flaps and retracting gear when we're absolutely sure that we're clear of terrain. We start to pitch down, gain airspeed, bug up, retract the flaps, gear up and we go into something that would look similar to a normal go around maneuver but that's only once the terrain has been positively identified as being clear okay so let's have a look on how that looks inside of the simulator all right and uh, we'll talk a little bit about what happened afterwards so welcome to salzburg um, me and Lorenzo are going to do, well, we're going to simulate how to do a circling for runway 33 in, um, in Salzburg. But during the circling maneuver, something will go horribly wrong and we will lose our situational awareness and start flying towards the mountains. So what I'm going to demonstrate is a terrain escape maneuver. This is a critical maneuver that we have to know how to do by heart in case we find ourselves in a situation like this and we need to get the aircraft climbing away from the terrain as quickly as possible. So I want you to pay attention to me, it was going to be pilot flying, the actions that I will do, and also the call outs that Lorenzo will be doing when we are in the terrain escape maneuver. There's going to be some, uh, uh, there's going to be some uh, uh, indications on the uh, vertical situation display and also on the primary flight display that will show us, you know, show us the warnings that will indicate that we're actually in a, um, a close terrain encounter. So, um, should we have a go at it? Let's try it. All right, let's have a try at it. Okay, Lorenzo, so um, we're getting back down to 2,800 feet here. Hey, Fred. Bring in back speed, so you still have the runway in sight, confirm? I do. Perfect. So once we're a beam, the... Uh, Approaching minimums. Perfect. Minimums. Good. 2,800 feet maintaining. So once we're a beam, the threshold will start climbing for... Uh, time. 45 seconds time. Misty out there today. It is. You still have the runway inside, confirm. Hey, firm. Ten seconds to go. Check. Five to go. Check. Time's up. in sight here but it's a little bit hard to see that runway here keep hey. looking okay yep hey, all right I'm, hey. I'm struggling to see it here Lorenzo I'm yeah gonna, keep looking all right runway should be at our two o'clock okay yeah no, I don't yeah no, no I think I see it I think that's, yeah. that's the one isn't it maybe I'm uh, not very sure at the moment this is the highway actually all right terrain. So we have a caution to terrain. Terrain. terrain terrain pull up pull up Terrain, terrain. Full power set. Terrain, terrain. 20 Pull degrees. Up. 25. Terrain, terrain. Speed decreasing. Yeah, radial altimeter increasing. 20 degrees. Okay, so we can keep 20 degrees and then intermittent stick shaker if we need it. Hey, Fab. 20 degrees. And radial altimeter increasing. Okay, we'll see Terrain, this. terrain. Terrain pull up. up. Terrain, terrain. Pull up. Okay, you take this to pitch terrain, intermittent, intermittent terrain, stick shaker here, okay? Speed is decreasing, speed is still good. Radio speed increasing. Low. Air speed low. Pitch limit indicator. We still have a caution. caution That's terrain. intermittent stick shaker caution. there. Terrain, terrain. Radio altimeter up. decreasing. Terrain, terrain. We have pull, pull up. up. Terrain, terrain. Pull up. Terrain, still terrain. Good. Pull up. Terrain, Radio terrain. Radio altimeter decreasing. Pull up. We are climbing. Terrain, terrain. Pull up. Radio terrain, decreasing. terrain. Pull up. Terrain, 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 terrain. Pull up. Speed. 
Terrain, terrain. Oh. Oh. Terrain, terrain, terrain. 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 Terrain, terrain, Okay, I'll, I'll out of caution. Out of caution, okay, I'll try to regain normal speed here carefully, okay? Because I think we're still in mountainous area here. Hey, Fem. So, the MSA on this side should be 11,000 feet. Okay. Would you say that we are out of... Well, we'll get above the VRF here, first of all. Yeah. Coming up to more terrain, coming up here, this looks FM. okay. So you said 11,000 feet, the MSA, yeah? FM. All right, so I'd say that we're out of the course of now. Gear up, please. Gear up. Okay, we're starting to coming out of the clouds. Can you set 11,000 feet in the MCP for me, please? 11,000 feet set. Level change. Level change set. Any speed? Yeah, the flap 15 speed, please. Can actually bug up as well. Flaps five. Okay. Speed check. Flaps one. Speed check. Flaps up. Speed check. Molly. Checked. Out the throttle. Checked. Vertical speed. Checked. Actually, no to Up to the choir there. up, no light. Thank you. After take of checklist, please. After take of checklist. Okay, set, uh, set uh, well, actually, we know, we know we're in, we're in mountainous areas. So just keep on QNH1005. So, after take of checklist, engine bleeds on, packs, uh, auto, landing gear up and off, flaps up, no lights. Um, after take of checklist completed. Thank you. I'll turn up north because we know that there's less mountains up the north in this direction. All right, you agree? Check. I agree. Okay, I'll hand over the controls to you for a second. My we controls. are in MCP speed heading select, altitude hold with command A engaged. Uh, your controls. Checked, my controls. All right. Okay, guys, so that is about as close as we get. We got down to 400 feet over the, uh, the mountain top there. Now, you would have noticed that we did not select the gear up, for example, and that is actually the correct in this situation because the only configuration change that we're allowed to do during a terrain escape maneuver is to make sure that the speed brake is fully retracted. Everything else is sitting where it is because if we do impact with terrain, the gear will actually take up some of the forces that you know that we will encounter. So we keep with that until we are positive that we are clear of the terrain, and then after that we go into something that is uh, similar to a normal go around. It's a little bit different because we are at a much higher altitude. We don't have toga available for us, but. The important thing is to remain with the situational awareness and keep getting the aircraft back into a configuration that we're used to, getting the automatics back, working from right to left, and, uh, and then you know form a new plan, figure out why that happened and make sure that doesn't happen again. So I hope you like that, guys. If you have more questions, then as always, contact me in the chat. Just tag at Mentor and I'll be there and explain it to you. Pretty exciting, eh, guys? Yeah. So... This is what happens on a good day, right? The pilots made a mistake. They, they got focused on looking at where the runway was. They didn't realize that they were turning towards a mountain. When they did realize, they executed correctly the terrain escape maneuver and we cleared the mountain. Okay. Now, doing the, uh, the terrain escape maneuver doesn't guarantee that we will clear a mountain. It depends on what kind of mountain we're climbing towards, but it gives us the best available chance. Um, Guys, that's all I had about the terrain escape maneuver. I hope you have enjoyed this. Um, as always, if you have questions for me, then you know put them in here below. 
If you think that people will like this video, then feel free to share it on social media, on Facebook, on Instagram or Twitter. And I want to take this time as well to say a huge thank you to Skillshare, who is this week's sponsor. Now, it's my sponsors who makes it possible for me to, um, to give this kind of content to you guys. And Skillshare is an excellent tool for learning pretty much any subject that you're interested in. So I, um, a course that I think that you will thoroughly enjoy is how to fly drones professionally, safely, and taking into account all of the different rules that are starting to pop out. Or you can use your home simulator to um, prepare yourself for your PPL license. The 501st of you guys who uses this link here in the description of the video will get two months of free premium membership and that will give you access to all of these courses, all of the high quality content in there. So go in, check it out. I'm sure that you will find a course that's going to be right for you. Have an absolutely fantastic day wherever you are and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Oh.